Welcome back, guys. It's the Tight Wide. Every year, my friends, family, and neighbors ask me how I get my light so perfectly spaced and straight on my house. Uh, you can see the finished product in the video on the screen right now. And today, I'm going to show you how you can make this happen on your own house. Here are most of the items that you need to light your house up for Christmas. Uh, the first thing is a strand of lights. I prefer the screw-in light bulbs. Um, I have the C7 bulbs. I have this year the alternating clear and red bulbs. You can see that the bulbs are 98 cents a package. Um, typically the light strands come with white in them. Uh, we've used these same strands for seven or eight years now and uh, last year I switched to the alternating red and white. I really like the look of it. I saw a local Chick-fil-A doing it um, and kind of stole their idea. The second thing that you need are clips. There are two different kind of clips. I bought these at Walmart or Lowe's or Home Depot. Uh, this is the new type clip that we have right here where the bulb clips in this end and this end either snaps on the gutter or on the shingles. And here's the other style clip that we had previously. I actually like these better. They seem to be better made. You can tell they're a little bit thicker plastic, but same thing. Bulb clips in on this end, and then this hook goes either under the shingles here or onto the gutter here. And if you want to light your flower beds or um, along sidewalks, then these are needed as well. These are light stakes, and the light just clips into the top of it, and then it sticks down into the ground. Once you have your clips and your bulbs screwed into your wires, it's easy to make your lights look nice and uniform, evenly spaced, OCD if you will, across your house. The strands are about 25 feet long. They have 25 bulbs in them, uh, the particular strands that I have do anyway. And you can see I've got my clips on. Doesn't matter which ones, I've put two different clips on here. But once I clip the first one on, I know that the second one is gonna be an equidistant from the first to the second, from the second to the third, and so forth, down the whole entire strand. So my lights, if I just pull the strand tight in between each one with a clip on every single bulb, everything is going to look nice and uniform. You'll need a few other items as well whenever you are hanging your lights. You're going to need some extension cords to run the power from the lights down to the outlets on your house. You may need some of the splitters, the ones that have uh, three plugs for additional wiring and one plug for the additional hot wire coming in. And you will also need timers for the different zones on your house. If you can get away with one zone, that's great. But typically, you try, should try not to plug more than three to four strands in one electrical outlet or else it will blow your breaker. Once I get the light bulb screwed in and the clips on, I plug in the strands and I can do two at a time. And I check all the way down the strand to ensure that the light bulbs are all working. It is much easier to adjust a clip or replace a light bulb while they're on the ground. If you're gonna have two strands together, make sure that you tie a knot by looping them around each other and then plug them back in. Once you tie the knot, they'll look like this. And when you go to pull the strands down, they will stay together instead of breaking apart and making you have to climb back up on the roof. Be sure once you have your layout completed that you mark your strands somehow. I used just duct tape and a Sharpie and I know that this one goes on the side of my house and it's the first string of two. I also always plan out where my male plugs will go. The male plugs need to be closest to the power available on your house. Since your bulbs are automatic, automatically evenly spaced on the wire, the rest of the process is just to take each clip and stretch it as far as the wire will go and you'll get even spacing along your whole roof line. Be sure that you adjust the bulb's positioning in each clip as you go so that they're all standing up the same way. I also like to give mine a slight turn to make sure the bulb is tight so that it hasn't to ensure that it hasn't come loose while I was hanging the light bulb strips. So you can see I've lined the front edge of the roof all the way around my house including the top peak which is not fun with lights they are all evenly spaced and then since the main road comes down this side 
I have them running down the side of the house as well. I'll give you another picture once it gets dark. If you notice, the light right in the center of the screen is brighter than the other white lights around it. That typically means that this light is about to blow. So since I have my ladder out tonight, replacing that light bulb, I'll also go ahead and replace the bright light bulb because I know it's going to blow within the next few days. These are the stakes that I use to light the edge of my sidewalk and flower bed. And you notice I do the same thing where I clip one bulb in each stake and then I space them out by stretching the wire. And I run this all the way along the edge of my sidewalk. And then I do the same thing between the grass and the bed on the other side of my house. This is the finished product after I've put all the lights on. And you can see that I have lights lining the whole roof line as well as the sidewalk and the beds in front of the house. Uh, the only thing left to do now is to maintain the lights by replacing any bulbs that go out. You can see I have one bulb out near the pine straw on the ground and I'll simply get that replaced and be good to go. I never plug more than two light strands together and I can plug up to six in a standard outlet without it blowing. But I try to stay at about four or less per circuit. If you want to watch some more of my videos, click the one showing on the screen. If you want to subscribe to my channel, which I highly recommend that you do, click the Tightwad logo. Hope you guys have a great day.